Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the major problems that we face when you are working on building a custom LLM for your specific use case. One of the most common problem is with the knowledge base that the LLM has. It's a publicly available knowledge, but you want your model to perform in a specific way where you want your model to have access to private data or it could be any form of data which is not publicly available. In that case, there's this popular technique that we usually talk about. It's called retrieval augmented generation where we create a huge knowledge base. It could be in any form. Usually it is in textual format. So we use this huge knowledge base and uh, we push it to the vector database and every time we send a query to our model, it is going to retrieve the most similar search results from the vector database. There are different, different uh, similarity search result techniques that it uses, but the most common is cosine similarity. There are various ways of uh, creating or building powerful rag chains. So one such way is to create an agentive rag. It's basically a normal retrieval augmented generation pipeline, but it has a lot of security checks so that the model gives you a very well organized answer from the knowledge base that, it, that you have provided. Here is one of the agentive rag technique that I have outlined. This is available on my GitHub. Uh, I will share this link in the description. You can have access to this repo. This is one of the most efficient pipeline I would say that will give you the best results possible. I will just give you a quick overview on how this pipeline works and then we will go to the Colab notebook and I'll go I'll show you how things would work. Here as soon as I sent a question to my model, let's say I'm using a GPT 3.5 Turbo model. You can use any open source LLM, the chain remains the same, you just replace your OpenAI model with the open source LLM that you use. I've already made a video on open source LLM RAG. You can have a look at that and also you can, uh, in my past video, I've also shown how do you fine tune open source LLMs. You can do so and have a look at them. So this is the question that I give to my LLM, but before it goes to the LLM, there's this interface where through Langchain, I interact with my vector database in this case, I'm, in this case I'm using Pinecone. So as soon as I give a question to my model, it's going to perform a doc search similarity and uh, as soon as it performs similarity search there is some results that has been retrieved right all these results will be given to my llm here in this case gpt so here there will be a security check you can see it says check if answered there are two possibilities yes or no so whatever the search result that we have get from the vector database through cosine similarity or whatever the similarity search techniques that you use there are two possibilities either the search result answers your question or it doesn't so if it answers your question it goes through another security check it's called hallucination check where you again call your llm whichever the one that you are using in this case i'm using gpt we provide the query we provide the search results from the database and then we give these two arguments to our model and ask it to check if uh, the search result answers the query that was given again there are two possibilities yes or no the first thing is hallucination even though when you have search similarity results from the vector database there is still a possibility that the model has hallucinated at some extent so even the model loses its logic loses its intelligence at some point and then it would just retrieve some random search results so that's why we need this hallucination check again there are two possibilities either the model has hallucinated or it it hasn't so the first possibility is yes it has hallucinated that's when you go to tavili tavili is a web search integration platform where uh, you can perform uh, you can trigger web search through API calls and that is exclusively made for LLMs. So it's very fast and it retrieves the results in a way that LLMs can understand. So I would highly suggest using Tavili. If the model has not hallucinated, you can then uh, display your final answer. Otherwise, uh, you trigger Tavili and even here, if the search result that has 
that we have retrieved from the vector database has not answered the query that was given by the user we can again perform web search so that the model has more context to understand and who knows we may find answer on web search if the mo if the data is not highly private and then as soon as we have search results from Tavili, we use this as a full context so we have got two contexts here the first one is the uh, search results from the vector database and the second one is uh, from Tavili, whatever the web search, web search results that we get. We then use this as a big context and then give it to, the, uh, to our model again. Here we formulate this answer and then the final answer is sent. This is one of the most efficient React chain I would say. This is fairly complex but uh, I'm pretty sure you'll always get uh, the most expected search results and uh, the hallucination or any other problem that you usually face performing rag on huge knowledge base i don't think you will find uh, i think you'll be able to overcome such issues if you use th this kind of a chain and feel free to add more checks if you want to uh, as like as long as you keep adding more pipeline or making it more complex it will take even longer to generate a response but uh, it will be uh, absolute clear that uh, as soon as you have more checks involved uh, you will get more organized answers from your model so going to the collab notebook that we have here this is the collab notebook I will share the link uh, of this collab notebook to you so that you can have access to it and you can play around uh, in this case I am using pinecone as my vector database the one that I have shown you in my git or github I was also I was using pinecone there uh, as soon as you have access to it, make sure you add uh, API keys here. You can add API keys. Uh, in this case, I have Hugging Face Token, OpenAI API key, Davili API, Pinecone API key, Pinecone API environment, and then I also have Pinecone index. So uh, if you want to use any open source embedding model, any open source auto tokenization model, in that case, you can use uh, Hugging Face Token. Otherwise, feel free to use OpenAI if you want to. Here I'm installing some libraries, Langchain, OpenAI, Pinecone Client, whatsoever. Uh, I'm using pretty old versions of these because uh, when I move to the latest versions, then I have to uh, change the code a bit. And, uh, you know, there's always a problem with compatibility when it comes to Langchain and OpenAI because they keep pushing newer versions uh, very frequently. So this is the older version that I'm using. Uh, if you want to update them to the newer version, you can do so, but make sure you change some built-in functions uh, that are not called uh, the way it was in the older versions that I'm using here. So moving further, I'm uh, importing some important uh, functions that I need for this task. And here I'm giving access to all of my uh, API keys. You can see here I'm storing all of them in different OpenAI key, Tavili, Pinecone API, Pinecone environment, Pinecone index. Moving further, uh, if you have not created any Pinecone vector database before, you can just go over to the Pinecone website, log in, sign up your account, push knowledge there, and then you can simply create a, a vector database. It's pretty straightforward. But uh, if you already have one, and if you want to push newer data to the existing vector database, you can do so. This is one of my file that I have, it's a text file, and then I want to push it to my vector database, though it already has huge amount of knowledge. But this is just to show you how it works, uh, I have created this snippet. You can simply run it or give just correct the path and give whatever the file that you want to push. Here you can see it's a very small, uh, a small file having very less text it just has 68891 characters uh, it is count it's just counting the character and i'm splitting text so that if we don't lose out the information of words moving further i'm using embeddings openai embeddings here you can see i'm I've given the access to openai api key and the embedding model that i'm using is ada 002 and uh, the vector database that i'm using is pinecone my index name is Elon musk for moving further i'm not going to i'm not going to go into extreme detail of these snippets because these are pretty straightforward and i've already explained this in my past videos so you can have a look there you can see the query that i've given here is elon musk on death so as soon as i perform a similarity search there are quite a good amount of search results that has been retrieved you can see the context here in a speech by elon musk he stated that i don't want to be on my deathbed this is just a retrieved search result from my knowledge base that is present in pinecone Moving further, I have written a function here, fetch context from query. It does the same. Here, I made it uh, pretty open, and now I have kind of organized it in a function where you can call it through a query. It's just doing the same thing here. 
Moving further here, I have added a function that kind of perform the security check. Here you can see check if answered or not. This is where we are right now. You could see uh, I could send a query here. I could retrieve search results from Pinecone and now this is where we are. We are going to check if the answer has been uh, whatever the search result that we have got from the database. It has been uh, it is relevant to the query or not or it answers to the query or not. That's what we are going to do here. Moving further, uh, this is where you can see uh, uh, does the context contain the answer it returns no. I don't have enough context to accurately answer this question. So this is uh, that function that checks if the search result has answer or not. You can see you are a security checker asked with, tasked with verifying whether the provided text contains a direct answer to the user's question or not. This is how we perform the security check. Moving further, we are using Tavili Python because we are going to use that to trigger web search. Moving further, you can see here, uh, this is how we are integrating Tavili. And now uh, when I, let's say I have a query here, Elon Musk on riding a horse. Let's run that and see how, what kind of result do we get from here. It takes pretty long as you can see because there are multiple uh, checks that are happening. You can see the initial context is I don't know, which means the answer to this question is not present in my knowledge base that is present in my vector database. So basically there's no such search results that could be retrieved from the vector database that answers to the question that Elon Musk opinion on riding a horse. So it says, I don't know. Now that uh, we have this security check, does the context contain the answer? It says no, obviously. Moving further, initial context did not contain the answer. Now we are going to fetching, now we are going to fetch more detailed context through this web search. You can see it, it has not answered. So this is where we are. It has to get web search. So through Tabili, we have got some results. You could see we have got plenty of links here that kind of answers to this question ambiguously or whatsoever. You can see we have got some links here. Now we are going to formulate it. Since we have got this search result here, we are now here to formulate our answers. Moving further, let me run the same query here. We have the same query going on, okay? I haven't given any query here. We have the same query. Let me run this and see what's gonna happen. This is going to for this is the formulate function that I have. So Elon Musk has made several comparisons between traditional cars and horses over the years. So this is how we have got the answer. So the answer to the question that Elon Musk opinion on riding a horse was not present in the vector database that we have, but through this uh, web search integration, we could perform it. So as soon as you trigger the web search, there has been more context that was provided to the LLM so that the LLM could formulate the answer and, and uh, you know answer your query more promptly. This is how the whole chain works. And uh, feel free to use this repository. Feel free to get these functions, make it even more better. If you want to add more security checks, you can do so. But I believe this is fairly complex and uh, this is pretty reliable, uh, even for any task that I could think of. Uh, and uh, feel free to improve it. You can open issues or you can do some PRs here if you want to. And uh, I would be very happy uh, to see that happening. And uh, you can also, Try this out on open source LLMs. Uh, you can go to Hugging Face and uh, get any open source LLM. In this case, I would definitely suggest using Llama and Mistral. Or if you want me to make a video on using open source LLMs in this case, then let me know. I would be happy to make a video on using Mistral or Llama. Or one other way that I would suggest is uh, use Olama and uh, download any. Uh, compatible llama model within your local machine based on the configuration that you use and then try this locally try building this chain uh, this rack chain locally in your system and see how it happen how it works so that's all for today and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and let me know if there's uh, any idea that you have or any other topic that you would like uh, me to make a video on thank you so much until then see you next time